This is the DA's conviction when it comes to the ANC leaders fit for prison. The party claims Lutuli House is sending corrupt candidates to be lawmakers. They've pointed out Deputy President David Mabuza and National Chairperson of the ANC, Gwedia Mantashe, as those who should be removed from the party list. These are not people that deserve to go to parliament. These are not people that can be our public representative, but these are people that should actually be sent to jail. But the ANC dismissed DA's protest as cheap politics. Their scarecrow, their usage of the ANC as a scapegoat is not going to assist them. They normally say where they govern, they govern better. Now you can't govern by running away from your responsibilities, particularly to your residents, to your taxpayers, to the citizenry of the country. Meanwhile, in Bloemfontein, the DA says it's still concerned about lack of safety for rural women. The party marched to the SAPS Free State Commissioner's office to hand over a memorandum. The reason was to highlight the plight of women those who are vulnerable in rural community, the women who are always live under fear, the poor women that are always being the ones that are murdered, they are raped. The DA alleges lack of specialized investigative units has led to many reported cases not appearing before court. And the DA leader Musi Maimane visited residents of Douglas in the Northern Cape. Residents here still use the bucket system. These are South Africans who are still using buckets. These are South Africans who are poor, unemployed, and it is very clear that the ANC would rather look after its connected politician. My man says they will be meeting with the IEC to discuss the ruling that the party should apologize to good party leader Patricia Delil. Abongile Tumago, SABC News.